Hey everyone, okay, it's another soap video and uh, it is a soap extravaganza around here today. Uh, I made one this morning and I'm making two this evening and uh, I've got lots of new toys. So today I'm making, uh, this is going to be a shaving soap. Um, I've been looking forward to trying to make one of these and actually then sort of try it out and see how things go. Um, I'm going to move my camera back here a little bit. Okay, and um, so one of the things I'm going to be using today is this brand new mold, which is lovely. It's a piece of art, practically. It's made of acrylic, and you can see it has sort of slides. They slide out, these slide out, rubber bands holding it together. There's a piece on the end here where you can slide your, your soap forward and then use this to actually cut. And it comes with these little plastic sheets. So you line the mold with the sheets, pour in your soap, and then when you're ready, you just um, pull them off. So um, it's it's pretty cool. So um, I got that. I got this from I think it's called S -S Saponi, um, S A P I O N E dot com. I'll try to put the link um, in my description then. So we're going to be using that mold. Um, so let's go over what we're doing. Okay, so we're making a shaving soap. Um, let me grab my recipe. And the shaving soap, the one thing we're going to add is bentonite clay. And this um, helps to give slip or slide um, to the, the bar when you're making uh, the shaving bar. And this this particular soap won't necessarily be sort of the bubbly kind of soap. It's more of a creamy lather. Uh, and I'm using um, beef tallow, actually, as part of my oils. So I, I know lots of soapers are, you know, they want to go kind of the vegan round. They have lots of people who are looking for natural soaps that are organic or don't have artificial fragrances or dyes or anything like that. And, um, and that's great. I'm, I, I'm not opposed to that at all. I think right now I'm testing the waters. So I'm trying lots of different techniques and I'm looking at, you know, trying lots of different oils to see what their properties are. So, um, so uh, you know, I've read that beef tallow um, makes for a good shaving bar. So we're going to try that out today. Um, I'm going to divide my, my batch up into three sections, do some three different colors, uh, and do just sort of a, kind of like, I guess a faux funnel kind of pour. Uh, I'm going to fragrance it with um, a combination of Egyptian dragon and dragon's blood fragrance, and uh, I think I'm going to name the bar Dragon's Breath. Um, all right, let's go over the recipe. So, in here for my oils, I have 10 ounces of beef tallow, 6 ounces of cocoa butter, 4 ounces of 76 degree coconut oil, 8 ounces of olive oil, pumice, and 4 ounces of castor oil. I have 12.16 ounces of water and 4.346 ounces of lye. All right, and I have my new little temperature gun also, a new toy. So we'll check out the temperatures here. All right, my oils are around 87. And my lye water's 93. So we're looking good. Um, I'm hoping that this uh, fragrance won't accelerate things, so we'll see how that goes. All right. Uh, I'm going to add my clay in now. And then we're going to add the lye water, and we'll get started. And 
here we go. I'm going to try and keep this kind of thin. Okay, and I don't know how these colors are going to work because of the clay. You can kind of see, I don't know if you can tell, but so normally when I do soap or when you do soap, it has sort of like a, a, I don't know, almost a bright creaminess to it, a bright creamy color. And this has turned definitely a little bit more gray already. Um, so... Um, I'm using the unrefined cocoa butter, so it, every, everything sort of smells like chocolate at the moment. All right, I think that's good. It's pretty thin. Um, we're going to see how that goes. I'm going to divide this in thirds. All right, and now I'm going to add some color. All right, so one, I'm doing white with some titanium dioxide that I've mixed in uh, some water. And uh, this, is, uh, this is a color from TKB Trading called Black is Black. And um, I have it mixed in some oil. And then the other one I'm going to use is Celestial Colors um, called Cherry. All right, so. I can get my lid off here. All right, let's mix these up a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good. Ooh, that's a great red. That's perfect. I thought about using activated charcoal for the black, but since I have the bentonite clay in, um, I just didn't want to add another powder, really. That's, that's the only... But I know activated charcoal will give you a nice, a nice dark black color. But, um, But these are all working out pretty darn good. I like the colors so far. All right, let me add some fragrance to each, and then um, we'll get pouring. All right, let me just mix that in a little bit. The white is staying nice and loose.
the red's good. Um, seems a nice consistency also. Doesn't look like that fragrance is speeding anything up. It smells really good. It's it's much more. It's a it's a fairly masculine scent. I would say the combination of the two. Um, it's sort of deep and. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. It's got just a lot of earthy notes to it. All right, so my black is a a tad bit a tad bit thicker. Not not a ton though, so should be fine. Alright, fantastic. So, get my little mold. This actually comes with a little doohickey uh, that you put on here that you can put like the top of the bottle you've cut out to sort of do a funnel swirl. And um, I just didn't, I just didn't use it right now. So, we'll try that a little later. Alright, so, I'm going to do uh Again, kind of a, a faux funnel. And uh, I'm kind of getting a little higher here as I pour, so I get some good penetration. Okay, that's good. That worked pretty well. Oops. Okay. Looks good. All right, I'm gonna put the the rest on top here. I do want to. I'm gonna. I kind of want it to set up a little bit. Um, so I think I may take a just a breather for a second. Let this get a little firmer. Uh, I'd like to do a little bit of a textured top on it. So, uh, I have a leak down there. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna let it sit for a minute or two uh, and thick it up, and then uh, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, I just did a little bit of cleanup and let it sit for Oh, maybe five minutes or so. My red is kind of nice and th thick, and my black is thick. My white is still a little thin. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I kind of, again, I kind of want to do a textured top here. So, but the top of the soap is pretty firm now too that I poured, so it shouldn't have any problem. Uh, supporting the rest of the soap here. Um, I also have some 
some micas in some oil. I'm going to try and do a little fancy schmancy on the top there. This red is really cool. Um, I don't know if the color comes across well, but it's it, it's very much it's almost like ketchup colored. It's that kind of bright red, which I love actually. It's pretty cool. All right. This was a two pound recipe and uh, it seems to be fitting just perfectly in in my mold here. Okay. All right, so. Still a little thin. It's getting there. Okay. All right, I'm going to play with it a little more because I'm going to add some, just some micas here. This is a little gold. I wanted something sort of dramatic for, you know, something I was going to call Dragon's Breath. So, uh, this color, uh, boy, I can't remember. I think it's called Crimson Sparkles, something like that. And I'm just kind of randomly placing some, some here. And then last, I had some black, black shimmer. I always think black and gold look so good together. Okay, so is now not to play with it so much. Did I ruin it?
Okay. I think that's cool. I might add just a little bit more gold in there. Um, I might play with it just a tiny bit more just so I can get some of that. I like the texture right now and I like how some of the, might, the oil and mica has sort of been swirled in but I want to get a little bit more of the sort of pink color in there and a little bit more gold I think so okay um, I'm going to do the pink first This time I'm just sort of drawing with it. I'm just kind of putting it where wherever I sort of feel like it, but where I, maybe where I don't really see a whole lot. Okay. That is starting to look fantastic. I think a little bit more gold. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to kind of almost like paint it on. I'm following some of the lines of the soap like ridges, just sort of now this is a shaving bar so you might be saying well it seems kinda silly to do all this fancy stuff on a shaving bar and I sort of agree but again I'm trying just lots of techniques and uh, you know just playing around some ooh that's looking really great Okay, I think I'm going to add a little bit of black still. And mostly to sort of contrast with Uh, sorry, <laughs> I got hung up there. A uh, contrast with, you know, the lines I just put in. So again, I'm I'm just using this more 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 almost like a paintbrush, just to uh, paint on different things. And I think that looks pretty fantastic. So, um, you can see that top there. Pretty cool. I like it. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, all right. So I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Um, to you know, try and prevent gel, and uh, and then tomorrow I'll come back and unmold it, and uh, that's it. The shaving bar with uh, bentonite clay, 
Uh, I'm going to call it Dragon's Breath. So, all right, thanks for watching. Questions, comments, let them. Uh, and uh, after the break should be the cut. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm getting ready to cut my shaving bar that I'm calling Dragon's Breath. And you can see the, the top has sort of, um, you know, become a more matte kind of finish, but the mica, still the gold and the purple came out really kind of bright and shiny. The black is there, but um, sort of much less shiny than the gold and the kind of pinky red. Okay. All right, so I'm going to try my new fancy mold here. See how well this works. And well, that is fantastic. It just sort of slides right up. And um, I think, I mean, you're supposed to be able to use this to cut it. So I don't know if I can just slide it forward. I probably need to. Take these sides out first. Now there's a little plastic layer in here, which is what helps the acrylic, I think, to come off. Although those end pieces came off really easy. Okay. Um, let's see, there's acrylic underneath it as well, it's a little hard to sort of get, ah, there we go. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put my sides back on. Okay, and then just slide it forward, and then I have this little cutter that comes with it. Okay. I'm not sure I love that <clears throat> that cutter. Although um I just needed a little cleanup, I guess. All right, that that swirl came out pretty good. The black didn't get as black as I was hoping. Um I probably needed a little bit more. Again, this is a shaving soap, so Mmm, it smells good though.
Again, I think these just need a little bit of cleanup, but they came out looking pretty good. That swirl is very cool. That's great. Love that. So, um, I, you know, this, I like this mold. It's, it's a good small size for making like a shaving bar, I think. I'm not in love with this cutter. Um, I mean, it gives you, it gives you a nice uniform bar size, but you kind of have to slide it out and it's sort of tightly against the piece behind it and it's sort of leaving little marks on the surface here as I do that. Um, but, you know, I'm sure that will, that's able to be cleaned up, not, probably not too hard. But I think I might just, uh, you know, go back to or use my my big loaf cutter for these. Although this one here does let you adjust the size, so there are different holes down here that you can move this brace against. So if you want smaller size, I'm at the biggest, uh, the the largest one. So, I don't know how big that is. It's less than an inch. Um, you can kind of see. And I have, let's see. These are from my cutter, which makes inch bars. So, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, they are about an inch, okay. So, they make inch. But you can adjust the size to smaller ones if you want to. And this acrylic is really pretty looking actually, but you know, when your hands are kind of full of soap stuff, it, it definitely gets it messy. Ooh, the top, the top on this one looks really good. And um, like I said, I think in the the video from making these, you know, this is definitely kind of a a fancy shaving soap. A lot of times, the shaving soaps are just round. I think that's traditionally how shaving soaps have been and usually the ones I've seen just kind of a single color because the idea being you know you take a shaving brush and use the brush to get the lather I got a little bit of an air pocket whoops I'm off camera I got a little bit of an air pocket there but that is a pretty swirl um, but you know again I was just trying different techniques and this one is made, this shaving soap is made with beef tallow. Um, so it definitely, it has a, it has a different feel than my other soaps. Not that I've made a ton of other soaps, but it has a different feel to it. But it also has the bentonite clay in it. So that, that could be making... Um, you know, some changes. It's very creamy. It 
It's almost like butter. Alright, so I think this will be the last cut. Um, the swirls came out super good. I'm really happy with them. Now the red, the red that I wanted kind of a very white white, a very black black, and then a bright red. So the color has changed a little bit. I mean, when I poured the red, it was definitely like ketchup. It was sort of that bright red. Um, and it's definitely become more muted. It's more of a rust red. Um, and the black has also changed to, it, it's still black, I guess, but it's a very like grayed out black. Um, and it doesn't have that strong black quality. Um, and I used that same color. This was from, the, the color was called Blackest Black from TKB Trading. And I actually just used it in a different soap. Um, and that black came out very black in that one. Um, so I, I, don't, I don't think it was the amount I used because I used a fair amount. I think it is probably because of um, well, either the bentonite clay or the beef tallow itself. That's another really pretty swirl. Okay. All right. Um, this, this top isn't as pretty. You'll notice some, I, also some of this uh, became more like a chocolatey brown on top. And... Um, I guess that's because it got swirled in with the red and the the red and the white and the black. So there's sort of a chocolatey brown on top as well. But but overall, I'm very happy with it. I love my new mold. Um, and uh, that's it. So shaving bar with beef tallow um, and a faux funnel swirl with mica oil on top. <laughs> so <laughs> couldn't fit much more into a soap. Um, questions, comments, leave them below. I'd love to hear. Okay. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, and uh, have a great day, everyone.